Hello everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to uh, the Quarantine Irish Tunes Day 42. It is May 2nd and I'm going to start out, uh, it's a little bit kind of Welsh day because I have a Welsh song and a Welsh uh, waltz. I haven't done anything from Wales, which is one of the uh, Celtic countries uh, in that area of the world. So it's called the flower or the flowers of the thorn. Um, so I'm going to give it uh, as a dedication uh, to my wife, Sandy, whose last name is Thistle, the flower with the thorn. And, uh, you know, I've experienced both. So here we go. Flowers of the Thorn, a waltz, waltz from Wales, a Welsh waltz. That's actually a little bit of a tongue twister there. Hope have a, everybody's having a great day. Uh, it is sunny and warm here in Madison. It feels like May. It feels like spring. It feels like a little bit of a rejuvenation. Um, today would have been the original date uh, that would have been the Bees of Spring uh, Festival, which has gone on for the last... I don't know, five, six years. Um, the shirt I'm wearing today is from the uh, Bees of Spring in 2016. And my band Hootenanny, and there's the owl, which is our symbol, you know. A Hootenanny uh, is an Irish word, um, at Gaelic, and it, uh, it just means a party, or sometimes it's called a hooli, or other names for it, but uh, you know, it's a sing-along, it's a, it's a, or as they call it in Ireland, a sing-song. Uh, and it's a fun time, and that's where I got the idea of the band Hoot and Annie, 
and I always say if if uh, there's somebody in the band uh, that needs to be Annie, I'm I'm happy to be that person. So, uh, shout out to my uh, bandmates. Um, I'll I'll name you all in person shortly, but I'm gonna do another song first. Uh, so. Uh, shout out to the Bees of Spring Festival, which would have been over there at Boss Meadery uh, over on uh, East Wash, um, where they make wonderful mead, and as we like to say, uh, the fruit of the bees. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, another thing that would have been today, um, I would have been out running this morning down at Donald County Park, uh, down kind of near Mount Horeb, uh, south uh, west of here, and uh, uh, here's my cup that I... Uh, got there a few years ago from the, the annual Donald Dash, which raises money for the, uh, the park there and is a great trail run. And missing all my trail friends and running and just feeling a little nostalgic about all the things that are getting canceled, but also kind of uh, hopeful and uh, confident that uh, we can do these things hopefully uh, in the future. So uh, let's see, the next thing is a song. Um, this is a beautiful song that my bandmate uh, Josh sings, and I'm missing Josh and Daryl today. Uh, it was uh, written actually by uh, a couple from England, uh, but it's been adopted uh, by the Irish as a wonderful song. It's called Song for Ireland. It was written by uh, June and Phil Koklach, or Koklach, uh, C-O-L-C-L-O-U-G-H. Unfortunately, uh, June passed away a while ago, and Phil we just lost in 2019. Um, he was, uh, they were spending time over on the west coast of Ireland and uh, with friends and enjoying uh, Dingle that I mentioned uh, a story about yesterday, uh, and uh, wrote this, this great song. Um, there's wonderful versions by Dougie McLean, uh, the Scottish singer who also has Irish ancestry, and uh, as well as Luke Kelly from the Dubliners and many others. So. I'm going to try to do it justice, so... Walking all the day Near tall towers where falcons build their nests Silver wing they fly they know the call of freedom in their breast. Saw a black head against the sky Between the rocks that run down to the sea. And here's the chorus. Living on your western shore Saw summer sunsets, asked for more. I stood by your Atlantic Sea and I sang a song for Ireland. Talking all the day with true friends who try to make you stay. Telling jokes and news and singing songs to pass the time away. Watch the Galway salmon run like silver dancing darting in the sun living on your western shore saw summer sunsets asked for more i stood by your atlantic sea and i sang a song for ireland drinking all the day in old pubs where fiddlers love to play Saw one touch the bow He played a reel that seemed so grand and gay Stood on Dingle Beach And cast into the wild foam We found Atlantic bass Living on your western shore Saw summer sunsets Asked for more I stood on your Atlantic Sea And I sang a song For old Ireland
night I saw a land where no one had to fight. Waking in the dawn, I saw you crying in the morning light. Lying where falcons fly, they twist and turn all in your rare blue sky. Living on your western shore, saw summer sunsets, asked for more. Stood by your Atlantic sea, and I sang a song for Ireland. Living on your western shore, saw summer sunsets, asked for more. Stood by your Atlantic Sea And I sang a song for Ireland Great nostalgic, uh, wonderful song with a hopeful ending. The troubles for the time being and hopefully forever are, are, are over. Not when this song was written. Uh, Beautiful images of uh, the Galway salmon, the Dingle Peninsula, the uh, the old pubs with the fiddlers and all that. So a uh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful song. All right, that was the song for Ireland, written by June and Phil uh, Kokla, um, people from the north of England. Funny thing about uh, Ireland and music. Um, so no one in Ireland will tell you that they ever sing uh, or play a Scottish song or a Scottish reel or anything or Scott, whatever it is. Um, they just say, oh, oh, that's, that's an old Northern one. Um, it's just funny that way. So, uh, <laughs> you know, there is a lot of connection between uh, Ulster and Scotland. I mean, they're just across the uh, sea from each other and obviously a lot of uh, immigration intermingling uh, over eons and, and thousands of years in history. But, uh, Still, it just strikes me as funny. So you, you, you don't, you, when somebody sings something that's vaguely Scottish, they're like, oh, that must be an old Northern, Northern tune. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what am I gonna do next? Uh, it's time to do a couple of reels. And I love reels, I do them every day, <laughs> as well as songs. Um, There's a couple of reels called The Otter's Holt and Sweeney's Buttermilk. Uh, it turns out that uh, Otter's Holt is its uh, nest or its home. And I uh, don't know anything about Sweeney's buttermilk other than the fact that Sweeney is kind of this character that shows up all over in Irish culture and literature and song, uh, kind of like an every man, I guess you'd say. In fact, the song I sang yesterday, uh, The Rocks of Bawn, is, is Sweeney. Rise up, my lovely Sweeney. Uh, so this is Sweeney's buttermilk. Um, there's Sweeney's dream. There's all sorts of different things about Sweeney. All right, so I learned this from an album uh, that was put out by uh, Folkway Records. Let's see if you can see it there. It's called Sweeney's Dream, Fiddle Tunes from County Sligo, Ireland with Kevin Burke on fiddle. Um, I've had this album for a long time. I think it came out in 19, it was recorded in 1973, maybe came out in 1977. But notice the banjo and auto harp player, Hank Saposnik. So this is one of the few places where my worlds collide. Um, as most of you know, I play in a, a klezmer band called Yud Vicious. We've been together 25 years, and uh, I'll give them a shout out on another day. Uh, but Hank Saposnik, who plays on this, uh, this album on Folkways from way back in the 70s with Kevin Burke, uh, was very interested in traditional music. Um, and so this was a combination of Americans and Irish that played together. Um, later on, Hank Saposnik became one of the leaders of the revival, of the Klezmer revival. Um, and in fact, he uh, spent many, many years here in Madison, uh, working as an adjunct faculty and uh, helping catalog the Mayrent collection of Klezmer music through the Mills Library that my uh, bandmate in Yudvicious, Matt Appleby, is, uh, in, is doing a lot of work on. Um, so just a small world where Hank Saposnik from the Klezmer world is, in this case, I first learned about him through the world of Irish music. And in fact, the story about how he got into Klezmer goes like this. He was hanging out with, I think, Tommy Jarrell or some of the other traditional musicians and fiddlers down in North Carolina and learning all the music. And one of them looked at him and said, don't your people have any, uh, any music? And apparently Hank went home to New York and to his grandparents' attic and found 70, hundreds of 78 albums of Klezmer. And that was the rest is history. So. 
kind of a fun story. So I love this album. I have played probably almost half the songs and tunes on it because it's so great. And these are both uh, tunes that are on there. Sweeney's Buttermilk, and this uh, album was called Sweeney's Dream, which is a whole other fiddle tune. So, All right, I got to get playing. No more stories. So The Otter's Holt and Sweeney's Buttermilk. my favorite reels in B minor, both of them, the Otter's Holt and Sweeney's Dream, uh, learned from the awesome playing of the Sligo fiddler, Kevin Burke. Um, I believe Folkways actually reissued that album maybe in around 2011, um, and just, uh, you know, because it's so classic and it's just, it's just wonderful, uh, fiddle tune after fiddle tune after fiddle tune. Um, and uh, it's definitely was a huge influence on me as a Irish musician, so thank you, Kevin Burke and Folkways. All right, before I do the next song, um, which is going to be a Welsh song called The Ash Grove, um, like I said, I just want to give a shout out to um, uh, my bandmates in Hoot Nanny. Uh, we've been together now, gosh, I don't know, five, six, seven years. We've put out uh, a couple CDs and uh, we've played every other Thursday night at Chief's Tavern for many many years and uh, also at Boss Meadery and various music festivals uh, parties and uh, and just get-togethers and uh, so it's just uh, been a great uh, adventure uh, with those folks so a shout out to uh, Reverend Michael Bausch uh, our guitar player and singer who also plays a mean harmonica Pastor Mike 
uh, Prentice Berg uh, on the guitar and vocals. And uh, Prentice and I also have a side project that we call Highway PD uh, in honor of the uh, road that goes uh, most of the way to, to Mount Horeb from Madison. Um, Prentice and his brothers grew up in the Blue Mound, uh, Mount Horeb area. Um, he's part of the famous uh, Berg family of restaurateurs here in Madison and uh, and many, many different establishments, but uh, Prentice uh, runs Notchbeel. Uh, so if you can spare a dime, the Notchbeel Family Fund would really appreciate it because they've been closed since even before the governor closed as a wise move on uh, Prentice's part to protect his employees and his customers, but there's no income right now. So, And then of course, uh, we have Cindy Murphy on the cello and sometimes banjo and tenor guitar and other things. And uh, Cindy is an ex-cop, uh, a vet, um, and is an expert in uh, the technology of uh, phones and cyber uh, intelligence and crime or all that. I don't know. I don't quite understand it all. but And she's been to Ireland way more times than I have. I've been four times. I can't remember how many times she's gone, mostly for work, which is awesome. <laughs> And then, of course, our newest member of the band, we have Tim the Librarian on the mandolin and sometimes guitar. And Tim's a long-standing Madison musician, and I've known him from going to the Penny Branch uh, for many, many years. And uh, he plays in a band called the Groovin' Brothers, who cover Leuven Brothers as well as other songs. So, all right, so next up, uh, a Welsh song, a famous Welsh song that many people have known for years and years. This goes out to Mary Ray because she said it was one of her favorite childhood songs. And it's something I grew up with uh, as well. It's called The Ash Grove. It's kind of a sad song. Um, and uh, I will uh, say that my lament uh, for today is that we had a beautiful, uh, maybe 60-year-old, 80-foot-tall uh, ash tree in our backyard that was infected with the emerald ash borer and we had to have it uh, cut down a few weeks ago. Uh, but fortunately, we have some of the, uh, the wood and the stump left to remind us. So this goes uh, out to our ash tree, the ash grove uh, from Wales. And uh, here we go. <laughs> Uh, 
Welsh song, uh, the traditional Welsh melody that has many different sets of lyrics uh, put to it by various people. I believe that was something from the uh, 19th century, uh, an English uh, writer. So, All right, um, so let's see, it's day 42. I hope to see you again tomorrow for day 43 on Sunday. I think Maraid's gonna join me for uh, a tune, which will be nice. Uh, it's been a little while. And I uh, hope you're all having a great day and taking care of each other and uh, feeling inspired that we're, uh, you know, going to get, get through all this, so, this quarantine. All right, um, I'm going to finish off um, with a slip jig. And uh, I, I'm a big fan of slip jigs. They're, uh, they just have a great uh, feel to them. Um, they're in 9-8 instead of 6-8, uh, so it's kind of 1-3, 1-3, 1-3, instead of 1-3, 1-3, 1-3, 1-3. Um, and this one is called Fig for a Kiss, which is just a, a sweet little name. So uh, I'm going to finish off the day uh, with a slip jig here. for a kiss. All right. Love y'all. Thanks for listening. I'll see you soon. Have a great day.